Hallo und herzlich willkommen bei Smartest Home. Wir sind hier in Frankfurt auf der Light in Building. Wir haben uns mit dem Gründer und CEO von Basalte getroffen. Wir haben ihm ganz wesentliche Fragen gestellt, was Produktentwicklung anbelangt, was Zukunft anbelangt. Und ihr kennt ja Basalte schon, wir haben ja viele Produkte vorgestellt. Eine ganze Reihe von euch, Bauherren, die mit uns gebaut haben, geplant haben, die haben diese Produkte im Einsatz. Jetzt schauen wir einfach mal rein. Klaas, yes. I have quite five questions to you. The first question is, what does the future look like at Basalto? Well, first of all, Frank, thank you for coming here at Light and Building. And, thank you very much. Uh, welcome. Uh, so, how does the future look for Basalto? Well, um, yeah, let me help you with this. Well, first of all, uh, we are trying to create a luxury brand, which means that we are focusing um, completely only on the high-end residential segment. And um, at this point, we have an offering which is quite complete in that segment. So the future and first instance is uh, about internationalization. It's about creating visibility. There's a lot of marketing. There's a lot of experiences that we want to create. We are building a uh, flagship showroom in Dusseldorf also to accommodate that. So the, the near future is a lot about expanding and showing our beautiful brand to the world. My first thing, uh, why in Düsseldorf and not in Munich? Um, I think there's a, doesn't have to be an or question. It can be an and question. Okay. Uh, for us, Düsseldorf was a very uh, nice first step. It's a location where we have been active uh, longest in the German market. So we have quite a good customer base there. And it's also relatively close to Belgium, which uh, is more easy. Okay. But I think uh, for okay. sure, Munich being a very important uh, a region in Germany, it will, be, uh, it will be the next step in Germany. Okay, the next, question, the next question is what makes Basalto special compared to its competitors in the KNX environment? Um, well, I think first of all, our competitors are not just in the KNX environment. KNX is super important. Without KNX, we would not be here. Uh, but it is, at this point, uh, one of the protocols that are being used in homes. Um, it's one of the very important ones, but it's not the, not the only protocol. Um, if you look at other brands that are competing in the same segment, then I feel that at this point we are um, relatively alone in terms of addressing the high-end residential market mm -hmm. with a holistic approach, which means that We are offering a complete solution for the end customer where everything fits together and blends together. Not just in terms of design and material, but also in terms of uh, how it works and the functionalities. Let's say that the design philosophy is consistent throughout uh, all the products that we offer to the, to the, to the homeowner. And that combination, high-end residential combined with a holistic approach, A full solution uh, makes our offering quite unique in the market today. Okay. You have a lot of products here. And mm -hmm. What is your personal favorite product? Oh, Frank, what are you doing? You are making me choose between my children. That's, what, uh, what kind of product should I choose? Yes. I think, in all honesty, there are so many, uh, I mean, in my opinion, of course, so many beautiful pro products. All of them have a quite a unique story behind it uh, and uh, even in the name giving but if It's I have your to story. It's yeah, your story. yeah absolutely Personal. yeah uh, but if I have to pick one <laughs> I would uh, still go for the first one which is actually this one here um, it's, Antido. it's Antido yeah yeah so the the touch sensitivity um, the multi-touch behind it, it makes it so easy elegant um, I mean, even 16 years after the first introduction, it is still um, you would, my favorite, yes. You would choose the Sentido and nothing else? Well, you make me choose between them. Eh? Of course, that's very hard. I prefer to have all of them. <laughs> But um, being the first one and being such an important key, keystone of our history, I think uh, I, would, I would pick Sentido. But of course, 
We have so many other products, especially now with the Adelante door station adding to the portfolio, which is a, a huge step forward. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of a lot of nice products that uh, that I could mention. Maybe you didn't expect me to pick uh, <laughs> pick that one. My, my, my first choice would be the core. Okay. Basalte core plus server. Is the KNX uh, UX. This would be my choice. Yeah. Well, then both of us are happy, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the last question, five questions okay. to you, Klaas. The last question is, why did Adelante take so long to develop? Yeah, I have to admit that, um, like almost every product that we create, but especially this one, I have underestimated how hard it is to make a door station. There's so many moving parts that have to collide, and in the end you want to make a really good product that's going to be outside of that house. It's the first touch point of the house is the door station. And you want it to be there for many, many years. So you want it to be reliable. You want it to have in the right quality uh, with all the right functionalities. Uh, so it has taken a little bit longer than we expected, but it's coming, it's getting there. We are shipping, we will be shipping the first Adelantes in the, in the second quarter of this year. So that starts uh, next month. Um, it is a, It's a beautiful product, it has a lot of different functionalities, not just how it looks, but also in the back with all the software, the cloud connectivity, the fact that you can answer the call from everywhere, including your security cameras. Um, it's going to be very exciting to see it uh, going into the market. Have you tested the Siedle Steel Gira System 106? Have you personally tested it? The, the, um The other uh, companies? Uh, in what aspect? Um, while the, you developed the, the Adelante mm. in your team. Yeah. So I know it's, it's, it's your big product. Of course. And, and, and yes, when you, when you create a product, you want to see what is in the market, what are the, what are the advantages of other products in the market. And the thing that we have been missing in our market is the combination of high-end materials and a very nice looking design combined with the latest IP technology. Uh, we see products in the market that offer either one or the other, but we re very rarely see a combination of both of them. And, and that was the opening that we saw. It also gave us the opportunity to, to formulate our design language, not just inside the home, but also outside the home. So that is the main reason why we built Adelante. Of course, we have looked at other Uh, products, not just Siedle and Gira, also to end. Every, I mean, even Dorbert, I mean, almost everything which is on the market, you have to understand and learn um, what, what the customer needs. Uh, we have also integrations with these brands in our uh, core platform. So we have, been using with the, we have been using these products also in our, in our testing. Not necessarily as in a way of trying to see uh, how it's done, but mainly uh, trying to figure out what are the real needs for the customer and trying to find a good solution for that. And what is the next big thing? Is this the next big thing? Well, I have to say that this could be one of the next big things, is that uh, from a holistic point of view, uh, Smart Home actually combines all the technology in your home and makes a unified platform that is very user-friendly to use. Um, a big part of the technology in your home is audio and video. It's also music. So we have been having uh, multi-room audio and music integration in our core already for many years. But having speakers and a formulated design language um, in music was actually also one of the big uh, challenges that we, would, uh, that we wanted to address. And this is, this is one of the uh, new things that we are showing at Light and Building. We call it Rondo. It's uh, actually it? Rondo. Rondo. Rondo is, a, is an Italian name. Okay. Rondo is an Italian name. It's a, it's a certain term in music. So it has to do with how the notes are being played in music. And um, Rondo exists in three sizes. It's in wall. Uh, and we also combine it with these very high-end fabrics from Quadrat and Gabro to make this uh, design uh, Uh, solution is very playful. Uh, we are combining also it with the same materials that you can find with our keypads. Is it the same material like the soundbar? Or yes. Um, color, same? 
It's the same, the same fabrics like in our sound bars, okay. and also the same metal like we have in our switches and uh, the touch displays. So again, everything fits together. And what we are trying to do here with this wall is actually show a little bit of the lifestyle component that a, that a smart home or an intelligent home can be. So this could be maybe one of the next things. Yes. Okay, Klaus, thank you very much. Ja, und abschließend kann ich nur noch sagen, wer jetzt ein schickes Haus hat, wer eine größere Wohnung hat, wer vielleicht irgendwas Altbaumäßiges saniert oder neu baut, der kann sich bei uns natürlich das ganze perfekte Technische planen lassen, mit uns zusammen von der Konzeption bis zum Einzug den Weg gehen. Da ist natürlich dann auch das Thema Basalte Home, Multiroom Audio. Wir suchen das Beste für euch raus. Das schnellste Multiroom Audio System, das haben wir euch oftmals schon gezeigt, welches das ist. Jetzt sage ich einfach nur mal vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und morgen gibt es natürlich mehr von der Light in Building von uns, von Smartest Home. Ihr könnt ganz gespannt sein. Bis morgen.